castrate a lamb using only your teeth. Hey everybody, Doreen here, and welcome to another episode of Would You Rather. Now, I think I'm going to start doing these on a monthly basis because I really enjoy them, and that seems like a pretty good pace to do it. They change up the, the, the questions, and I'm pretty sure they update them monthly. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Would you rather have your hands switched for dust pans? Huh. Or be sweating jam instead of sweat. <laughs> dust pan hands. They just. What would you do with two dust pans for hands? You wouldn't be able to sweep with them. You just have little, little dust pan hands. Um, and then if you're sweating jam instead of sweat, you're gonna get all sticky. You're gonna get all sticky with sweat anyways, and rub off your jam sweat and smear it on a nice. A croissant or bagel. Yeah, I mean that one seems like a pretty easy one now. Would you rather castrate a lamb using only your teeth? Whoa. Alright. Or, or wrestle to territorial eight-foot alligator by diving on its back. Well, this is a very easy question as well. But how did that lamb one get in here? I thought they would at least like I mean, I'm glad they didn't, but censor it a little bit and be like, the weird ones don't really make it through. I'm glad that they, I'm glad that they do, because now I get stuff like castrating lambs with teeth. But I want to go with wrestle the alligator because uh, I don't want to put my mouth on a lamb's dick, let alone bite it off. What kind of mo what kind of monsters are you? Why is there almost 400,000 people who are down to castrate a lamb with their teeth? It makes no sense. No sense. Would you rather have your house burnt down by a fire-breathing dragon or have your house blown down by the big bad wolf? Mmm. And go with the dragon. Dragon breathes fire, house burns down, sad, sad, cry, cry, file an insurance claim. Big bad wolf blows down my house. He's probably fucking eating me afterwards. He ain't going through all the trouble blowing down my house if he ain't gonna eat this little piggy. Just address myself as a little piggy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know I'm getting waved, but geez. Would you rather never shave ever again or never cut finger toenails ever again? I'd rather never shave, honestly. Like, look at this. I have no arm hair practically I have like no body hair um if I could grow a full beard it would be the happiest one of the happiest days of my life so I'm gonna say never ever shave again cool 69 ah, 69 would you rather lead a boring life lead a boring life from here forward okay so from here on forward live a boring life got it or reborn with all your memories into a baby of the opposite sex. Hell, why is this a question? I would, I would want to do that anyways. One of my biggest fears, and not fears, but you know, like fears in the afterlife and things like that, is that when I die, even if you believe in reincarnation, even if you believe in all those things, I still won't have my memories of this life. I won't remember my mom or my friends or the things I love or any of that. I won't remember any of it. Um, so even if I was to live on in another body or form or whatever you want to explain it as, I still wouldn't have these memories and in all intents and purposes would cease to exist. And that, that fucking sad. It makes me sad. If I was, if reincarnation's real, I would like to be reborn knowing I was fucking reborn. And the opposite sex, yeah, cool. Like, that's, I don't see why that's an issue. I can see like the, the the sexual side of it and being like oh man then i'd have to bang dudes but guess what if i was born in the body of a girl i'd probably want to bang dudes because assuming i was straight i mean i might not be i don't know now i'm getting down a rabbit hole i don't want to get down but hands down reborn with all your memories no i clicked the wrong one can i reclick okay well i meant to click this one i meant to click this one obviously meant to click that one because i just ranted about it if you could watch only one show for the rest of your life, would you rather watch Sherlock or watch Doctor Who? Watch Doctor Who. I get it. Y'all love Benedict Cumberbatch and he's pretty cool, but uh, 
fucking Doctor Who. What the fuck is wrong with you? One, I wouldn't want to have to wait every three years to watch four episodes of Sherlock. Even if it was, even if I just had to rewatch David Tennant over and over and over and over and over again, I would still pick. Doctor Who. Would you rather be caught at home watching Sex in the City by yourself, be caught in a bar with a pink martini in hand? Well, I wouldn't watch Sex in the City because the thing's a stupid show, so I'm gonna go with the martini because who, who gives a fuck what color your drink is? It's probably strawberry. Strawberry's delicious. It's delightful. Would you rather be stabbed in the stomach 10 times, be shot in both kneecaps? Gonna go with the stabbing. Uh, the shock's gonna last a little bit longer than the stabbing, so you won't feel them as they're going in. It's gonna hurt like a bitch afterwards. They're both gonna hurt like a bitch afterwards. I don't know what being shot is like, if your body reacts to shock the same way, but I mean, I'd probably die, to be honest. I, I, I probably would die getting stabbed 10 times. That, that was a rash decision. Would you rather have met Jesus, have met Confucius? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Jesus. You hear me out. This is why. I would have liked to meet Jesus to see how close he is to how people perceive him. Meeting Confucius would have been enlightening and would have been cool, and not to say meeting Jesus wouldn't be that as well, but with Confucius, it's like you kind of know, have a good idea what you're gonna get. Not a lot of people are like, he was this way, no, he was this way, he was born this time, he was born that time. To be able to just sit down with Jesus and be like, yo Jesus, what's up? Okay, first off, what do you look like? Second off, when were you born? Third off, who's your daddy? And then, and then just go on from there. Be like, yo, man, like in the future, this is the shit they are saying. How close is that to true? Just saying, just saying. Would you rather have no eyebrows or have a unibrow? No eyebrows. Why would you want a unibrow? Those things look like fucking caterpillars. You have no eyebrows? Draw some on, tape some on. Do whatever the fuck you want. Walk around without them. Grow your hair like a fucking Super Saiyan. Walk around like Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I don't fucking know, but why a unibrow? Sorry for anyone out there who has a unibrow. I'm not trying to say you're ugly, but you know, like if I had the choice, I would not have one. Would you rather have a beer belly? Have three chins. I don't see how you can have one and not the other, but if I had to make the choice, I would say three chins. Cause guess what? You walk up and you know, you see, uh, you see, you know, Ronnie over there with his three chins, just hanging them down like little gullets. And you're like, oh man, that guy, how does he, how does he have three chins? He looks so fit, but he has three chins. I don't know if I want to talk to him. And then he rips off his shirt and it's just like, well, bam. You know, like fucking Chris Pratt with an eight pack. And you're like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He may look like a turkey, but that motherfucker's ripped. Would you rather live forever or until the end of the universe? I don't, I put quotes because that was in parentheses. I don't know how those equate to each other, but live forever or until the end of the universe or die right now with no afterlife. Live forever or, oh, this sounds terrible. I wouldn't want to die right now though. I'm gonna go with live forever even though it's gonna eventually be very existential and painful because everyone I love is gonna die. I'm gonna be all alone and I'm not gonna be able to meet anyone and I'm gonna be like I was alive in 2016 and they asked the fucking question and all this shit and you know what? Then I would kill myself. All right, last one guys. Would you rather have the beginning of the circle of life play when you farted, or have the chorus of Thriller play when you burp. <laughs> chorus of Thriller, that would be cool. You burp and it's like Thriller. I do the dance so at least for the first time, few times until it got hell annoying. Every time I farted and be like, ugh, it just tooted and it's like circle. I'm gonna go with Thriller. Yeah, Thriller, right on. Okay. I mean, Circle of Life is pretty epic. It, you know, it is pretty epic, but Thriller, man, Thriller. It's Thriller, it's Thriller. And hopefully I turn into a wolf too and fucking put on that jacket and just fucking go to town. That'd be cool too, but that's probably not how that would go. Anyways, thank you all for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. But other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll catch you all in my next video. Later.